Good evening, YouTubers, fellow reloaders. Reloading Bench back with you once again. And this is actually a reloading, kind of-ish, related video. And I would say this is an unboxing, but this is how I got it. So it's not really an unboxing, at least unboxing from the vendor. And this little gem is, as you can see... Uh, this is a, an RCBS electronic digital micrometer, as opposed to the uh, analog version, or I think it's called, I'm going to probably mispronounce it, and somebody will have a cow, Vernier, 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 uh, I'll just say analog. But uh, I found this locally from a guy who said, never been used, he accidentally ordered two, you know, I've done that before, but I usually send back. My misorder, so depending on where he got this from, I uh, don't know what to say. But um, this is a tool that uh, for a new reloader is probably completely unnecessary. You know, if I had to pick between the two, I'd go for calipers before I'd go with a micrometer. But uh, having been at this game for a few, uh, I thought I would pick this up because it was a great deal, uh, significantly less expensive than uh, what the uh, places online sell this for and uh, apparently never never been on it comes with the actual micrometer the ball if I can get it out uh, I'm not sure how that goes on so we'll tinker with that. I've never played with this before, and I can't remember what this was called. Let me make sure my hands aren't oily. That was called the spanner, and this was called the ball tip. So it doesn't, uh, I looked at these uh, instructions, and it really doesn't talk about using the ball tip. Um, it says... Uh, install ball tip on the anvil. So I'm guessing that when you need to use the ball tip, you just put it on top of that particular anvil. Anvil being that little section of the micrometer. At least that's what I'm assuming. So we will, yeah, this has never been opened. Uh, and if it was, he bagged it up really good. He bagged it up goodly. So we will open this. And naturally, I don't have scissors easily in reach, so we will slice it open. We will brute force it. And whatever plastic that was made with is unnecessarily strong. This is so old that uh, the silica looks like it's worn through. Uh, I have no idea how to replace the battery. Uh, I'm going to guess that this is the battery compartment. We'll get a little plastic device. Uh, the unlock is that way. Oh, it's got a battery in there. Should have checked first. Hate when that happens. Then we will lock it back up. So on on off set. Yeah, it's definitely never been opened. What is that little lever? That little lever is number three. That's the locking lever. Okay, so that's the equivalent of this. Excuse me, this on uh, on calipers. So we'll. We'll see how they uh, they match up in terms of uh, accuracy. So, uh, I'm not sure what the difference between these two are. So, number five is ratchet friction thimble, and number six is driving knob. Ratchet. Oh, okay. It's like a ratchet. And this is just, so no ratchet on this one. This one has a ratchet. Okay, so that would be, uh, I'm assuming, closing in on something. 
So let's see if it turns on. Oh, those batteries are hella old. It does not turn on. So maybe we will be visiting our LR44. And LR44 is a common battery for me. So I have some LR44s. But this one might be bad too. Because it's an oldie. And I don't remember if it was face down or face up. Okay, so that one does work. So it's face down. All right, so that's locked back in. Uh, maybe I should have paid a little bit better attention because it looks like the arrow goes there. Arrow pointing to locked versus unlocked. All right, so we now have off. All right, so let's, let's lock this, or rather let's zero it. Okay, so it's in inches, and now it's in inches, inches, I don't know what uh, ABS means. But now it's zeroed. So we will have to read the directions to find out what ABS is. So I thought this would be a nice way I think uh, on a recent video, I was talking about measuring the bell when I was doing my nine millimeter seating, uh, excuse me, bullet feeding die. And let's go to inches. 0.378. And I want to say bell was at like 38 something, 0.38. So this is at 0.3785. Let's see what the micrometer says it's at. For my belling. And this may be a little harder to 0.3. So in theory, point three seven. Ooh, look at that. 0 0.37855, 378, 0 0.37855, so slightly, slightly different. Uh, let me see if I can get this centered. Probably not the tool I would use for, for checking my belling, but again, I just thought, cool tool, I've seen it before. Point three nine point three eight seven point three eight three. So it's very, very point three point three seven eight three five. One, two, three, four, five digits. So ten hundred thousand, ten hundred hundred thousandths of an inch versus ten hundred thousandths of an inch. So a little bit more accurate in terms of uh, its reading. And then with the ball, the ball, boss, the ball. We would, I think it goes out to an inch if memory serves. So this, this would be placed on there. Let's zero that out. Okay, that's zeroed. And this is a very, 
I would need a much larger opening, maybe a uh, 416. I don't think this would, uh, nope. I need a bigger, I need a bigger, bigger if I'm doing it for this. Not that I would necessarily do it for that, but, uh, well, this would be great for, Oh, that's cool. So it, it, it stops ratcheting and it's still trying to ratchet. When will it start ratcheting? Right about there. Three, seven. Oh, now I'm off. I'm trying to look at the numbers while the ball slips. Yeah, I can see it slipping right there. Three, eight. Yep. All right. So maybe better for... Again, I'm not sure what I'll use this for. Uh, it's got a bit of a toy factor. So I've had uh, challenges in the past when I try to use my caliper to like measure steel, thickness of steel or something. Let me see if I can find something around the bench. So instead of brass, maybe this knife this knife blade, which has different degrees of thickness. So let's try and measure the, the very top side of the, the knife. Yeah, so I love the ratchet because that gets it to, that is point. Okay, so did I zero that out? I don't think I zeroed that out, did I? No. Okay, I think I'm zeroed now. Yes, I have no clue what I'm doing. This is a tool I do not own. New tool to me, so all you bashers, take it easy. Relax. Relax, Francis. 0 0.106. Alright, let's see what I get with my... You're pointing the knife at yourself. Point one zero seven. So I don't get the same. Yeah, I have to really bear down on it. So the caliper the micrometer is a little easier, a little friendlier to point one zero six five five. Yeah, they're very cool. Very cool. All right. So that is today's video session on this kind of cool little uh, digital, what is it called? Electronic digital micrometer from RCBS. So uh, another cool tool to go on the bench. Uh, well, that's interesting. I wonder how this, maybe it went, uh, it goes, I think it goes in like, yes, it goes in like that. So fit, fit, fit. Maybe it's supposed to open up a little bit. Who knows? Uh, it looks like that's how it goes. So there it is. Uh, nifty little tool for, especially for what I paid in terms of uh, not having to pay full retail. And that goes on the bench in a cabinet. Instructions. You know what? I, I think I will keep the instructions with it. Yes, and we'll keep the instructions with it. All right, that's it for today, guys. Later.